Good morning and happy Thursday. It is Thursday, July the 23rd, and it is a beautiful day here in North Carolina. And for those of you who don't know who I am, hi, my name is Christine Kingston, and I'm a grateful three-year recovering addict. And I come to you from Elizabeth City, North Carolina, to bring to you the Day by Day by Hazelden, the Daily Reflections by Nar Alcoholics Anonymous, and the Just for Today Daily Meditation by Narcotics Anonymous. And I read these so you don't have to. And I also read these for my mental health. Um, I read these um, because sometimes um, something happens during my day that I can apply something that this book has said to me um, once I've read it. So I try to read them in the morning times and I'm getting earlier and earlier every day because I'm trying to get back on my school cycle. So you'll be hearing from me earlier and earlier every day. So with that being said, we're going to dive on into the Day by Day by Hazelden and it says being responsible and it says babysitting, July the 23rd. Being responsible to those who reach out for help doesn't mean going to extremes. Babysitting while a person continues using may not be helping him at all. Racing through the streets demanding that addicts accept or help probably does more harm than good. However, if someone truly desires help to stop using mind-altering chemicals, we have to responsibly, we have a responsibility to do all that we can. Eventually, we know if a person is sincerely seeking help or just a shoulder to cry on. We should always carry the message, but we need not spend hours or days sitting those not ready yet to quit. Have I learned to spot those who really want help? Yes, I have. Um, Lord, as I apply myself in your service, may you grant me strength and wisdom to help others. And that's what I try to do every day is to help others. And um, that's what I want to do is help people because um, if I hadn't had gotten the help when I got it, um, I would probably still be out there too. So I'm grateful for the hands that were extended to me. Um, so with that being said, we're going to dive into the Daily Reflections by Alcoholics Anonymous. And it says, July the 23rd, I ask God to decide. I pray that you now remove from me every single defect of character which stands in my way of usefulness to you and to my fellows. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 76. Having admitted my powerlessness and made a decision to turn my will and my life over to the care of God as I understand Him, I don't decide which defects get removed or the color in which or the order in which defects get removed, or the time frame in which they get removed. I ask God to decide which defects stand in my way of my usefulness to Him and to others, and then I humbly ask Him to remove them. And that's what we need to do. We can't get rid of all of them at the same time and um, in the time frame that we want them done at. It's just not possible. Um, that comes with time, and time is what we have now. Um, as long as we decide to stay clean, we have time, and that's what I'm working on is my defects of character, and I do have a list of them. Um, and eventually, you guys will probably be able to spot them out. Um, you know, I'm new to YouTube, so, you know, um, you'll be able to spot them out because I can't hide things very well. So, with that being said, on July the 23rd, out of the Just For Today Daily Meditation by Narcotics Anonymous, Surrendering Self-Will. We want and demand that things always go our way. 
we should know from our past experience that our way of doing things did not work. Basic text, page 93. All of us have ideas, plans, goals for our lives. There's nothing in the NA program that says we shouldn't think of ourselves, take initiative, and put responsible plans into action. It's when our lives are driven by self-will that we run into problems. When we are living willfully, we go beyond thinking for ourselves. We think only of ourselves. We forget that we are not but a part of a world that, and that whatever personal strength we have is drawn from a higher power. We might even go as far as to imagine that other people exist solely to our bidding. Quickly we find ourselves at odds with everyone and everything around us. At this point, we have two choices. We can continue in our slavery to self-will, making unresponsible demands and becoming frustrated because the planet doesn't spin our way. Or we can surrender, relax, seek knowledge of God's will and the power to carry that out and find our way back to the condition of peace with the world. Thinking, taking initiative, making responsible plans, there's nothing wrong with these things so long as they serve God's will, not merely our own. Just for today, I plan to do God's will, not mine. If I find myself at odds with everything around me, I will surrender self-will. And that's one of my shortcomings. I want it, and I want it right now. I'm a spoiled brat. Um, I got everything that I wanted when I wanted it, and um, I was a spoiled brat. So, um, now that I'm in the in my recovery process, and I've slowed down, um, I re realized that things aren't just about me and only me. They're about others as well. So, with that being said, I'm going to close with the serenity prayer. God, Grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference just for today. And remember, guys, this is not the only thing I do. I do unboxings of numerous subscription boxes. I do Get Ready With Me's. I do hauls. And right now, I have a giveaway going on for my 200, 200 subscriber appreciation giveaway. And um, I have it marked as um, giveaway July 22nd. If you're interested, go check it out and see if you like the items in the box. And um, go in and put in Enter Me. And I will link the video down below in my description box along with the rules. You need to be publicly subscribed. You need to be 18 years or older. And you need to have a U.S. shipping address. And um, YouTube is not affiliated with my giveaways in any way, shape, or form. They are not responsible. They are not liable. These are my giveaways, and I purchase the products, or I get them from my subscription boxes, and I pass them on to you. And I do this because... Um, if I kept all of the products that I get in subscription boxes, I would my bedroom would already be filled to the top, and um, that's not what I want to do. I want to be able to pass things along to other people who can use them, because there's no way that I could use them all. So, with that being said, I love you lots, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.